Morning D1. Happy Thursday. Um, welcome to our lesson eight of personal narrative writing. So originally we were going to talk about dialogue during our Zoom, but um, I just realized that it wasn't going to fit into our schedule with everything else that we have planned. So we're being flexible and we're going to go ahead. You are going to follow along and you're going to listen to what um, dialogue is and we're going to brainstorm some ideas together. So for this job, you are going to need your narrative writing packet and you are going to need a pencil. I'm using a pen because um, that way it'll show up a little bit darker and so it'll be easier for you to read. Um, but I would like for you to use a pencil if possible. So you're going to need your packet and a pencil. And so you're going to go ahead. We are going to skip forward to lesson eight. And we are going to be talking about dialogue. And so dialogue is going to be the words that come out of your mouth or your thoughts. And so it's going to be, again, the words that come out of your mouth or somebody else's mouth, or it's going to be your thoughts. And so dialogue is a great way to add detail and description. It helps to show action character traits, and character interactions. Below are a few examples of how dialogue can be used. In the quote boxes below, record some possible dialogue for your narrative. And so again, dialogue is going to be those words that come out of your mouth, or they're going to be the thoughts in your brain. And so, like they said, it can show action, character traits, and then those interactions between the characters. So if you're talking to your mom in this story, that's going to be an interaction. She's talking back to you. Um, character traits, if you're talking politely or if you're talking with attitude, that's going to tell a little bit about how you are as a person. That's going to give um, your reader some ideas of character traits to describe you. So keep that in mind when you are writing your dialogue, um, that it's going to be portraying how you are as a person, how um, the other people in your story are as people as well. And so here they gave us some really awesome examples. So we're going to go ahead and read those. It says, let's get going, called my sister from downstairs. My brother replied, that sounds like a great idea. Wait for me, my sister cried, or I'm going to tell mom. And so really quickly, I would like for you to get a coloring tool. I should have asked for you to grab that ahead of time. So you can pause this video if you need to. But I would like for you to get a coloring tool of some kind. It could be a crayon, a marker, um, something that you can use. I'm going to go ahead. I have a marker, so I'm going to use it. And we're going to point out some of these key features that I noticed in the dialogue. And so you can notice around the things that they said, they have these things called quotation marks. Go ahead and say quotation marks. And so quotation marks are going to be these little dashes right here. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to highlight them. And those quotation marks let the reader know that this is something that's being said or it's a character's thoughts. And so that is going to be the main way you let your reader know I'm going to share some dialogue with you. And so here we have the quotation marks. And some other things I want you to notice is the commas. And so there's a comma here, a comma here, and a comma here. Commas are really important when we start to talk about dialogue because it's either going to help us start our dialogue. So you can see here it says replied, comma, quotation mark. So the comma is going to let us know hey, we're about to share some dialogue. Or if you start with dialogue, like here it says, let's get going. You put a comma on the inside of the quotation marks because it's letting you know that you're going to continue with your sentence. Because if you do not put a comma, you're telling your reader, oh, I'm stopping right there. And that's not going to work because you need to let them know who's talking, right? And lastly, I want to point out some of the words they use, called, replied, and cried. Now, we talked about some descriptive words to use, right? What's the one word I said I want you guys to try and not use? 
said, right? Said, 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 said. It kind of gets boring after a while. It gets really boring, honestly. And so when you hear called, replied, cried, this gives a more descriptive image in the reader's brain. And so they're like, oh, my sister cried or I'm going to tell mom. Like, you can imagine. She's like, I'm going to tell mom, right? So she's going to, she's really upset and just kind of has a little bit of an attitude, right? And so that gives you um, kind of an idea and an image in your brain. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to brainstorm some examples together. Um, so we're going to work on these first two together. We're going to come up with two pieces of dialogue together and then you have three other spots for you to come up with your own dialogue for your story and then your job today is you're going to share two of the pieces of dialogue from your story with Miss Walsh on a google form so we'll ask you to share two and you have to use the quotation marks and so if you're looking at your keyboard and you're like Miss Walsh I don't know where the quotation marks are let me bring this camera up the quotation marks, oops, the quotation marks are going to be right here. You see it's a comma button. So what you're going to do is you're going to press shift and then you're going to press the quotation marks and it will give you those quotation marks. So keep that in mind when you are typing today. And so we're going to go ahead. We are going to do a couple examples of dialogue. And so you're going to copy these down with me just so you get practice using the quotation marks and the commas. And then those last three spots you are going to add in your dialogue for your story and it's not it doesn't have to be all the dialogue that you're going to include your story you might include a lot more because I know I'm going to include a lot more than just two or three right but this is just to kind of get your brain going and thinking all right so I'm gonna go ahead I'm going to write my first piece of dialogue I'm going to start with my quotation because I'm going to start with what I said it looks exactly like the movie. It looks exactly like the movie. I thought to myself, and so you can see right here, I started with my quote, quote, it looks exactly like the movie. I put a comma on the inside because I need to let them know whether it was something that I said or if it was something that I thought or if maybe another character said it. So I put a comma, another quote, I thought to myself. And so I'm letting the reader know that this was something I was thinking in my brain. It wasn't something that I said out loud. It was something that I thought in my brain. And so it looks exactly like the movie I thought to myself. Now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to come up with my second piece of dialogue. And so I already shared some thoughts, and so maybe I'll share something that was verbal, meaning I shared it out loud with other people. Or I could even share something that somebody else said to me. So it, I said again, it looks exactly like the movie I thought to myself. Whoa. That was crazy. Exclaimed my sister. And already I can see some things that I want to change really quickly. And that's okay if you want to go back and you're like, ooh, I want to make a quick edit. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to say, whoa, and I'm going to put an exclamation point. So I'm going to turn this comma into an exclamation point. And I'm going to capitalize this T. And so this little symbol means to capitalize. And so I'm going to go, whoa, 
that was crazy, comma, ex er, comma, quotation mark, exclaimed my sister. And so again, I'm using a different word than said, because exclaimed means like you yell or you're like, whoa, you're excited, right? And that has an exclamation mark, right? And so that is a different way of saying said, and it kind of gives the reader, again, a greater image in their brain. And so your job now is to go ahead after you copy these two ideas down and practicing with the quotation marks, the commas, and using a different word than said. Your job is to go ahead and use these three other spots to go ahead and share some dialogue um, from your story. And then you're going to choose two of them to share with Miss Walsh in the Google form. And that's going to be it for today's job. Um, if you have any questions, let me know and I would be happy to help. And otherwise, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye, D1.